What up, Facebook Live? What up, guys? I am super excited today. I got some new specs. So, uh, number one, let me know how my specs look. I'm super excited. Um, today, guys, I am going to be talking with Miss Chloe. And I am so, so excited to have Chloe on. So, um, Chloe has become, uh, very quickly, somebody who I've gotten close to. And Chloe has the coolest background. She is actually getting, uh, uh, becoming a medical doctor in, in oriental medicine. And, um, and it's just, it's just a really sweet thing. Oh, and she's on right now so we can get a rock and rolling. But basically, um, I just want to give her a quick bio before I jump on here. Um, what's up, Jordan? Good to see you, brother. Uh, so Chloe is, is uh, is a stand for being the cause and creation of transformation in all levels of reality, which can on, on some level can sound pretty lofty, but what that means is that she has the privilege of being a mentor for really ambitious leaders um, in the language of their mind through uh, neuro-linguistic programming, and, which is NLP for short, and of the body through um, Reiki and acupuncture. So um, she uses coaching, she uses content creation, and she creates live events too. So anyways, with all that said, I'm going to bring Miss Chloe on, and uh, we'll um, And primarily, actually, just because I haven't done a whole lot of people, there she is. Hi. Oh, what's up, <laughs> Chloe? You look lovely today. Thank you. You too. It's actually nice and sunny over here now. I love that. Where are you at right now? Are you outside of your school? I am. I'm outside of school in between clinic shifts. On Tuesdays, I get to treat um, from 9 to 5 p.m. So your timing is divine. And <laughs> even scheduling it. the rain to stop, it's amazing. <laughs> right. We like really had to work some things out, but we figured it out, which is awesome. So I'm... <laughs> Okay. I'm really excited about that. <laughs> so that's awesome. Yeah. So first off, I just want to say uh, for everyone watching, obviously, for those of you that have been following and are always watching, checking in on the Supreme Performance Academy. Uh, part of the reason that I wanted to bring Chloe on today is, is the work that she does in having conversations between the body and the mind. And that's what mm -hmm. I get really excited about is her ability to um, transcend and include both and not just having a conversation with just the mind or just the body. Um, I think that there's a lot of people that do beautiful work out there that just work with the body, which is awesome. Plenty of people that work just with the mind, which is awesome. But I think, um, in my opinion, for Supreme Performance to really take place, um, we need to be having a conversation consistently between both. So uh, mm -hmm. I'm really excited for, for today and uh, to have you on, Chloe. So thanks so much for joining. Thank you so much for sharing your time with me. I'm excited. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah this will be great. So where I would love to start, Chloe, is obviously, and I'd love for people to hear a little bit more about um, what you're doing at the moment. I know you're just sort of finishing up some of your final um, days in school, um, but tell me a little bit kind of of like what you're studying and actually like what brought you sort of like the, mm. the story or the genesis of what brought you into to doing this work today and where you are today. Yeah. So a good summary would be I am currently in my last semester to receiving my master's in traditional oriental medicine, otherwise known as traditional Chinese medicine. And so what that means is I'll be done with school in April. And then in July, I'll be moving forward in my study of neuro-linguistic programming by getting my training and certification in Master NLP, hypnotherapy, and also mental emotional release therapy as well. And um, then I get the chance to take my license exams in October to be licensed to practice acupuncture outside of school without a supervisor in December. Wow. So until then, I really get to humbly serve as I like to say a translator for people to um, feel empowered and reconnecting to their own language of their mind and body. Because just like yeah. you mentioned before, we cannot separate the two. When yeah. we have these symptoms that come up, especially right now with um, a lot of like this morning was people coming in for either stress or flu-like symptoms. These symptoms are the teachers to tell us what we get to pay attention to. So, yeah. I don't know if you can relate, but if we suppress and ignore these symptoms for too long, they don't go away. They actually might get worse. So similar to any kind of old or limiting beliefs or stories, 
these can be considered triggers or teachers as well that show us the path through, not necess necessarily like out or away, but really through to get to the other side. As the cliche goes, the only way out is through. I love that. That's awesome. Mm -hmm. Well, I'm curious for you, Chloe, because obviously this isn't like the most like beaten path. Like I think like the most typical path that somebody could take mm -hmm. is like a doctor or a lawyer or a teacher perhaps. But like what yeah. is it specifically for Chloe mm -hmm. that got you excited about TCM and um, yeah, just, just in general going down this path yeah. of healing through this, this more natural modality? So... Um, it really started when I was doing my undergrad at SCSU. I was getting my bachelor's in kinesiology. thought I wanted to be a, an athletic trainer on the field, that whole thing. And then yeah. had a class where we got to watch injuries happen on the field. I almost vomited. And <laughs> I was like, okay, wow. I'd rather be on the rehab side of healthcare because I always knew I wanted to be able to empower people in their healing and getting back on the field faster. And for me, what that transformed to over a course of the last um, five years or so is actually getting down to the root cause of empowering people in their own healing, where for me, what that means specifically is mental health. So stress-related disorders, mental illness, anxiety, depression, having moved through my own experience of that and seeing or not seen, living the impact of how alternative medicine was really able to support me. Not so much in the next day I wake up and I'm back to myself and um, no sense of quote unquote magic per se, but really it was over a course of several days work, support and trust that I knew that if acupuncture, herbs and um, really the support system around me can help myself. I wanted to be able to offer that to other people when I had experienced, um, for me in particular, it's not for everyone, that my experience with prescription medications wasn't serving me when I was awake. It was helping me sleep when I moved through being diagnosed as clinically depressed about, we're in 2018 now, um, about five, four or five years ago. And I really didn't feel good about um, the fogginess that I was experiencing, not being heard um, through various um, psychiatry treatments, etc. And now what I'm really excited about is a new language of medicine as the pathway versus medicine as something we use. So with that, I'm really passionate about acupuncture. I also am involved in the cannabis industry and also helping to plan the inaugural Los Angeles Psychedelic Science Symposium that's going to be happening at UCLA this upcoming June. Wow, that's amazing. So ev just about everything alternative then <laughs> in terms of yeah. healthcare. And that's here's awesome. hoping that it's not so much alternative medicine in the future, but really a... Um, yeah good consolidation i'm trying to find a better word than that right now of everything that oh complimentary really because yeah. it's not i think that might be the most dangerous thing to say mm -hmm. that oh i only do western medicine or eastern medicine truly it's all derived in the same root intention of healing other people so why not instead of like making other people wrong other medicines wrong see how we can collaborate to really um do what the medicine is set out to do yeah mm, i love that i love that do you and i know you mentioned your particular bend towards um mental health um mm -hmm. and and that makes a whole lot of sense so i'm curious now tell me a little bit more about uh neuro-linguistic programming and some of your excitement around that and i know mm. that yeah the mind is also like a really exciting thing for you to be diving into as well so exciting so the most common phrase that we get to see when someone talks about NLP is that the words and the language that we not only speak, but also think, describe and generate our reality. So consistently, the stories that we tell ourselves, we listen to around us, these are what this or the culmination of all those stories is what we get to live into. So if we are dissatisfied or in a state of dis-ease with what we're experiencing, we get to rewrite those stories in any given moment. So there's a sense of excitement 
if there's anything that I've also experienced, this sense of, um, I want to say apprehension or fear as well, knowing that mm -hmm. I get to take full responsibility for everything around me and the real results that I are or are not present as well. So it's mm -hmm. um, a radical choice that not too many are willing to um, embrace, yet to embrace it really is the beautiful paradox of ultimate freedom, in my humble opinion, and mm. yeah, liberation. <laughs> so good. That's just yeah. awesome. Awesome. Thanks for sharing that. Well, so I'm curious, like, for, so for my audience, I'd love to know, like, ways that if they are going through... Mm. Um, yeah, just mental, uh, even if it's not mental illness, but just like low grade levels of depression or, um, or anxiety or overwhelm or feeling frazzled. Mm -hmm. Like what are some of the things that, um, that somebody can like do starting today, like right now that they could do and apply, um, in their lives? Awesome. Great question. Um, yeah. with that, the biggest and I think the, one of the most important things to um, emphasize, especially right after the holidays in the beginning of a new year, is mm -hmm. in acknowledging and being aware that it's okay not to be okay as well. Like one of my mm -hmm. biggest pet peeves, um, might be a pet peeves, I haven't said that in a while, is the good vibes only kind of thing that you might, that one might yeah. see in like memes or something. Um, like no like yes it's so important to be mindful of your environment and um it's also really important not to spiritually bypass any lessons that might be presented yeah. to us in the form of um pain per se the biggest yeah. problem that we might experience is thinking that we're not supposed to have problems and right to acknowledge that okay i'm not okay would be the first step and also identifying mm. what exactly you are experiencing. Is it anger? Is it frustration? Is it unworthiness? Is it um, anxiety? And then also what's below that so that you really get to chunk down as they might say in NLP to what specifically you are experiencing so that you can actually sit with it and then you get the chance to move through it. But unless you actually see where you are, you won't get a chance to do that. Um, another thing would be to emphasize the breath. Like with every single breath, we get another chance to choose. Um, I say it a mm. lot, breathe and choose again. Okay. And then choose again. And then there's also, um, it's called pericardium six. It's if you move through like from your wrist down and just slightly palpate down, you might fall into a little bit of like a divot or a valley right there. Mm -hmm. It's about, we'll say like an inch and a half is ish or so. Yeah. Massaging that and really breathing through your nose mindfully and out through your mouth can really help to calm your system down too. This is a great oh, cool. point for opening up your chest. And I've had teachers when I first started school, I was like, what can you use for anxiety? And they were like, this one. Massage that, breathe. And then it's the whole awareness. Uh, Think about what you're thinking about. Be aware of it. Okay. And it's just a mindfulness practice. At this point is also really good if you're feeling a little bit nauseous, which might be a symptom or a teacher. <laughs> the nauseousness as well. Yeah. In stomach okay. ache. If you see those like um, seasickness bands, usually it's on uh, this point. Yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. That's a great point. Yeah. I didn't even think about that. I love that. Well, I just wanted to go back to your um, point for a moment, Chloe. I love what you mm -hmm. mentioned about, um, we call it eternal optimists. Uh, uh, sorry, I just went away for a second there. Um, okay. Yeah, eternal optimists, uh, which is just, yeah, like what you just said, this idea that like everything has to be sunshine and rainbows all the time. And um and just really seeing that there is actually so much gold, like you're saying, in being able to allow ourselves to experience the full spectrum of what it is to be a human and mm -hmm. to, like, not have it all together all the time, right? 
and uh, yeah, yeah. So it's it's a super um, compelling conversation, and I I really appreciate you bringing that up, even because um, I think sometimes in self development there's there can be this tendency, and even I realized in me posing that mm. question towards like how do we make it better? How do we fix it? Mm. And I think uh, I like what you shared of just like yeah, like of course like seek out support and also like it's really okay to also just know that like it's okay to have like funk every once in a while and the good yeah. vibes only um doesn't always like doesn't always actually lead to the greatest fulfillment for everybody so i really appreciate you sharing that yeah absolutely yeah good question yeah. too because it's something that comes up a lot where even i believe the stats are that 90 percent of all doctor visits are related to stress or are stress wow. induced so if we could actually empower people to have and hold the space for others to be okay with not being okay instead of like, why aren't you smiling? Or come on, just get over it. It's, that could be really yeah. dangerous to um, invite people to do as well. Wow. So what did you I, say it was 90%? Or that was the was last it? stat that I read. 90% wow. of all doctor visits are stress-related. That's yeah. amazing. Which means that we could actually make a big dent in that if we – invite people to have um, better access to a emotional intelligence, maybe trainings, teachers, mentorship, et cetera, but also tools. Because the biggest thing as far as my personal mission is to empower the patient again, that mm -hmm. my patients, clients, et cetera, I don't want them to need me. No one else should be, or no one else can fix anyone else. You know this as a coach yourself. Mm -hmm. And the biggest thing too, I think I saw in your bio, it was helping people pleasers as a recovering yeah. people pleaser <laughs> um that's powerful because if there's yeah. anything i've learned especially in this profession and speaking with um the doctors i get to work with as well and teachers um yeah. the best thing that you can do for other people is to take care of yourself for example mm -hmm. even like here if you're sick maybe you don't have to go to work or maybe you don't have to go to the gym because you might create the sickness for other people. So if you take care of yourself, you get to take care of the other people around you too. So it's okay to Love go to that. sleep early. It's okay to prioritize your health. It's actually yeah. very, very necessary. So good. That's awesome. That's awesome, Chloe. Thank you so much for sharing all this. I would love to know kind of like what you're most excited about at the moment or mm -hmm. like ways that, um, yeah, like kind of like what's kind of in the, the front of your windshield right now for what I'm trying to use a car metaphor, but like <laughs> what's, what's the next thing for you and what are you, uh, yeah, what are you most excited about and, and how can we like find out more? Mm, I love that. Right now I am really excited to um, be restructuring a coaching offer that I've been working on for the last couple of weeks. For me, okay. kind of like what we were chatting about before, the importance of surrounding yourself in environments that really hold you accountable to this person who you are striving to become. I have a meeting tonight actually with a feng shui practitioner to partner with them in addition to the Akashic Record Reader to incorporate their gifts as a part of my coaching um, containers as well. So that when someone is moving through a transformational journey and they go back home, or back to wherever they usually spend a lot of their time and it doesn't support their new way of being, it yeah. could be unsupportive of their transformation as well. So I'm excited where this three or six month program you'll be able to will be able to work together and uh -huh. you'll have the support around you in your physical environment as well as you move through and transform to your highest, most luminous way of being. And then, Love that luminous. <laughs> yeah, for future events, um, Ascended Alchemy is also, I'll like, comment on this video later with that. I'll be hosting an event definitely in February. It'll be an educational cannabis dinner. And then also um, in LA in June, I'll put all of that within the link as far as getting involved in the first ever Los Angeles Psychedelic Science Symposium at UCLA. Awesome. Right on. Yeah. Thank you for sharing all that. So what's like the best way that we can get a hold of you then, Chloe? Best way to get a hold of me would be um, Facebook Messenger and email, which yeah. I'll put in the links too. So Perfect. Awesome. Yeah. Well, thank you so much, Chloe. This is such a joy to like bring on somebody 
uh, for my audience who is obviously, um, you know, in terms of supreme performance, like somebody that's really, truly doing it and uh, bringing it out to the world in really big ways. So um, thank you so much. I'm really excited. And uh, yeah, I think everybody go home and uh, palpate <laughs> your, uh, what, pericardium? Is it pericardium? Pericardium six. Yeah. Pericardium six. <laughs> All right. Thanks so much, Chloe. Thank you. Awesome. Have a great day, everyone. See ya. You as well.